Hello, my name's Megan. I'm the founder of Here There Raw and a parenting consultant with Think NVR. Today, I want to talk about one of my top tips, which is the phrase, no problem. This phrase can help so many silly arguments not happen and so many dramas not happen. Sometimes our kids ask for the most crazy things. They have so many demands that don't make any sense, like I'm not going to eat breakfast or like the story I'm about to tell you, Shoegate. And what we can do is we invest, no, you will eat breakfast, you will eat breakfast because you're going to be hungry at lunch. Eat that breakfast. Da, da, da. And it turns into a row and a power struggle. So no problem helps that stop and helps our children realise sometimes they choose poor choices. And actually, this is what happens with these poor choices. Let's talk about breakfast. Drama at breakfast. OK, are you sure you don't want breakfast? You will be hungry by snack time. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. No breakfast. Fine. No breakfast. No problem. In the car on the way to school, I'm hungry. I know, darling. And I'm sorry. But remember, you didn't want breakfast. You were happy to wait till snack time. If you give in as the parent now and hand them something, then everything's lost. Okay? You've got to follow it through. You're going to have to wait till snack time. There's going to be a bit of pain and hunger pains. Yes, they're not going to be comfortable. No, but you know what? Next time they're going to realise, hang on a minute, I didn't like that. They won't realise that if you save them and give them something before snack time. Shoegate, this was my favourite. My little girl, Shoegate every morning. It was such a difficult drama to get these shoes on. I'll be kicking and screaming for school. Come on, get these shoes on, get these shoes on. Hurry up. I don't want to. She'll be screaming back. No. Ah. I'm trying to struggle with these shoes. She's going to try and struggle them off. It was so difficult and draining and so pointless. So one day I said, no problem. It was raining outside. It's raining. If you don't wear your shoes, your feet will get wet. Are you okay with that? I don't want my shoes. Fine. No problem. Let's go. Off to the car. It's about a minute walk to the car. In the car, oh, my feet are wet, my feet are wet. I know, sweetie, and I'm so sorry about that. But you were sure you did not want to wear your shoes, and this is why we wear shoes. So, did I give her pull over and put her shoes on? Nope. For 20 minutes in the car, she sat with wet feet. When we got to school, obviously, I had a towel, I had the shoes, toweled her feet off, put her shoes on, and off she trotted. If I pulled over straight away as soon as she was uncomfortable and sorted her feet out and put her shoes on she wouldn't have learned because I would have saved her from it so no problem you have to stay firm and play it through so they understand you can't save after you've said it because that doesn't work but no problem's great it really helps our kids realize sometimes we know what we're talking about and sometimes we're saying things for their benefit and sometimes they want things that they don't understand what's going to happen from. So no problem keeps us calm. We've explained it to our children and it helps them play out what they think they want and realise, hey, tomorrow I'm just going to put my shoes on. Tomorrow I'm just going to make breakfast. So try. Are you sure? Okay. This will happen. Okay. No problem. They'll also learn when you say no problem, <laughs> it probably means, oh wait, this is a poor choice that's coming up and I'm going to live a life lesson through it. And that's okay too. You've done it in a kind, empathetic way, but you've helped them learn. So try it this week. No problem. Make sure you explain and then don't save.